so I, oh, this is not about me. <laughs> Um, I said that we had six poets, um, but there was a poet who was supposed to graduate in 2012. Her name is Marion Smallwood. And, why am I crying? I'm so emotional. Anyway, Marion's the bomb, y'all. Y'all can't see her. It's dark, but she's so fly. So, I wrote her, I wrote her, her senior poem, because she deserves it. She didn't get her senior poem. Marion. I'm sorry, I'm on my phone. I don't believe in coincidence and chance. It makes the bows in our lives have a little less meaning, whether they are tattooed on the arms of our most cherished partners or wrapped around our own fingers. I'm not surprised then that it, is the, it was the study of oceans that brought us together, or rather that last college requirement standing in between you and a degree. But that's just not a poetic thing to say, even though I just said it. <laughs> it's true, we struggle, I struggle. <laughs> because, because I'm selfish and know that in a few weeks you'll be leaving for the West Coast, I've been thinking a lot about flight, about movement and change, which is why I know there's some cosmic reason for why you came back this semester. Why it had to be that this spring, you finally got your senior poem, and why I have the privilege to gift it to you. Mary, in the past few months, you've taught me how gorgeous it is to be broken. Why women like us have to brave, sorry, I can't see. Why women like us have to be brave enough to love after heartbreak. No one else in my life could have taught me this at such an important time. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me how to free myself. Thank you for teaching me how to relax and have fun. Thank you for being the flyest chick at the University of Pennsylvania. You are so bad. Thank you for making fun of me all the time because I deserve it and also loving me so immediately. Thank you for your poems but you're so deserving to be heard. If you don't mind, I've strung a brief poem together for you, written by you, me, and Ann Carson. I've called it Autobiography of Mess. <laughs> I must have known you. I must have known you then, and I did. We were related before we ever met. Our chests were loud and nervous, with messages too honest, way too honest. What is love? What is it like to be a woman listening in the dark? Am I made of volcanoes or molecules of abstract things? Like the terrestrial crust of the earth, which is proportionately 10 times thinner than an eggshell, the skin of a soul is a miracle of mutual pressures. I want to know where it goes and when it's coming back. You wonder which molecule of yours will look like God, but Marion, you've already answered your own questions. There are, no world, there are no words for a world without a self, seen with impersonal clarity. And you are so dinner time blues and righteous. You multiplying soul, it was a real beauty. You are a quiet romance, the most magnificent sea foam carving its way out of water. <laughs> 